Everyone loves new painting gear, am I right? Well, today we are going to review the new plein air painting product, the Peshad palette. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Cody here with Fount Atelier, and today I've got something fun for us to do. I'm going to be reviewing a new plein air system made by artist Michael Klein called the Peshad Palette. Now, if you are familiar with Michael's work, you know that he is all about high quality. He is a well-respected artist who excels at painting multiple genres, including florals, landscapes, portraits, I mean, still lifes, you name it, he can do it. He is um, also the director of the New Salem Museum and Academy of Fine Art in New Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, it looks awesome. If you're in the area, you should definitely go check it out. I've added links to Michael's work and the museum in the description below in case you want to take a look. Okay, well to start, let's get out the dictionary. Peshad is a French term meaning a rough or quickly executed sketch or study according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary. A Peshad box is a term used to describe a small portable sketch box that you can take with you to do small paintings. They usually attach to a tripod of some sort so you can use them hands-free in the field. Peshads are popular with artists who enjoy going outdoor plein air sketching because they are way lighter and easier to travel with than something that's big and bulky like a French easel. This product, the Peshad palette, takes that concept to the next level. It is a super lightweight, portable combination between a traditional artist palette and a Peshad box. If you're familiar with backpacking and hiking terminology, this would be the equivalent to ultralight gear, which basically just means the absolute minimal amount of stuff you need to get the job done. Now, full disclosure, I received this Peshad palette from Michael to review. However, prior to receiving this one, I purchased my own at full retail price, so this review is my honest opinion of the product. So as you can see, there it is. This is the Peshad palette, and again, not very large at all. I love this. He's got his little Peshad palette logo stamped onto the leather right there, and then there's a little slit here, and that is actually to hold um, paintbrushes. You can put several paintbrushes in there, and uh, we'll look at that here in a second. So if I turn it this way, um, I will go ahead and open it up and let's see what it looks like. So what you can see here is we've got a really nice um, hinge system and this is classic Peshad in the sense that it opens up like a laptop and you have a mixing surface here to use as a palette to put your paint on and then you've got a uh, surface to put your panel up here. Now here's the unique part of the Peshad palette. So as you can see there is a hole right there, which is something that you don't normally see. And that is because you can hold this like you would hold a, you can hold this like you would hold a palette painting where your hands uh, kind of support the back of it. And then you could put your paint and whatnot on the surface right there. Um, and what's great about this is holding it this way uh, I think is going to eliminate the need for a tripod. And a tripod takes up a lot of weight. And so, um, you know, if you can get rid of the tripod, that's fantastic. Now you'll notice, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is actually, this is a, a kind of a walnut or wood veneer right here that's been adhered to a metal uh, plate right there. And then on the back, it has this really nice grippy material and it's not, you know, I know it probably looks like sandpaper. Um, it's, it, I mean, it's not quite as abrasive as sandpaper. Um, so it's going to provide a really nice grip um, when you're holding it. On the back, we talked about this little slit right here. So this opens up and has a little pocket that is, um, it has just enough tension to hold several paintbrushes, like I mentioned, so we'll try that out when we get to the field. And notice this little opening right here. So this is where you can put a, oh, it looks like maybe a quarter inch um, threaded, uh, threaded thing through, uh, like on a quick connect for a tripod, and then you could screw this and tighten this to it, um, and it will hold, the tripod will hold this up so you can work hands-free if you want. So I'm excited to test that out 
Now you may be asking, well, all of that sounds great, but where do you put the panel? I mean, it's just a blank piece of metal, basically, right there. Um, well, that is where these come in. So what these are, are these are just really simple adhesive, um, adhesive magnets. Um, and so they have a magnet on one side, and they have sticky adhesive on the other. And the idea is that um, you can take the, the, the sticky part off and stick it to your painting panel, and then it will adhere your panel right to hear uh, the, the backing using magnets. So I thought that was pretty clever. The other thing on the Peshad Palo website that I would really recommend are these um, genuine leather carrying cases. Now again, all of this is handmade, which is pretty cool. And these are made specifically for the Peshad Palo. So as you can see, it is just a simple little leather pouch, but it is sized perfectly to fit these Peshad pallets. So I can take this, slip it right in, Close it up like this, wrap the um, piece of leather around it to secure it, and now you've got a Peshad palette that is nice and protected. Um, and there's enough room in here that if you wanted to put a few brushes in here, um, put maybe a small thin panel in here, you certainly could do it. As a minimalist, I love products that are versatile and have more than one use, and that is something where I think the Peshad palette really shines. Um, that's because you could take the Peshad palette and use it as a regular palette while holding it, like what we talked about. Or, if you wanted to, you could, you know, lay it, open it just a bit more, and just use it as a traditional artist palette with a brush to where you are putting paint both here on the wood part and on the metal part here. You could wipe it off and it would be fine. And then, of course, if you had paint on here and it was a little messy, you could just fold this up put it in its carrying case, and you wouldn't have to worry about things getting messy. You could stick it into a backpack or whatnot, and off you go. So that gives you a real quick overview of the Peshad palette, what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get out in the field and see how it does. Now the Peshat Palace is designed so you can hold it just like this by hand if you want, but I think I'm going to attach it to the tripod for today, but it's nice to have this option. One of the things that's cool about this is that um, this is a piece of metal right here, it's steel, so you can attach panels to it with magnets. So I've actually got a piece of plexiglass here with magnets on the back and I've got, since I like to work on a loose canvas a lot of times, I've got a piece of uh, Belgian linen uh, taped to it so I can just magnetize it right on and I'm ready to go. What do I think of the Peshad palette? Well, in my opinion, it is an awesome piece of plein air gear. It lives up to the billing of being something that is really portable, really lightweight, and easy to use. Whether you're using it like on a tripod like what I did, or you're holding it yourself. Really, the only downside that I could see from using the Peshad palette is that you know, you can't do work that's very large on it, but hey, you know what? It wasn't made for doing that. If you want to do big work, go get a larger Peshad box, a French easel or something like that. This is meant for small, quick sketches, and I think it works great for that. If you want to check out the Peshad palette and try it yourself, I put a link to its website down in the description. So I loved it. I think you will too. Until next time.